of that idea that the, that the Indians challenge is the idea that it's not about blood, it's not about DNA. It, it's about a, a cultural understanding of, a, of your identity. So they, they, they challenge that. In the case of Argentina, they challenge the idea of crisol de razas, which is very similar to the idea of melting pot in the US. The idea that, you know, yes, we'll get as many immigrants as we can, of course, they preferably from, from Europe. Um, We'll try to deal with the, you know, with surrounding countries, Bolivia, Peru, uh, Peruvian, and, and, and Paraguay, somehow. But but no, when we talk about crisol de razas, we're talking about all these wonderful white races that are kind of mixed in, in, in the idea of an Argentinian nation. I'm kind of paraphrasing, but that's very close to the language that has been used in cases, as I said, of, of Argentina, Chile, and so on and so forth. So. Um, Yes, to, to go back to your question, I, I do think that, that in many cases indigenous peoples had the balls that other organizations in civil society did not. Right. So we can, we, I'm not surprised that many of us, including myself as an academic, are seeing, are, are just seeing indigenous peoples with the capacity to, to, to challenge this kind of historical constructed ideas of uh, of, of what our nationhood and self uh, means. Now, do you think that indigenous movements across Latin America, across the continent, I guess, are endorsing the idea of the pink tie idea of regional integration? I, I think it's the other way around. I think the hmm. pink tide of regional integration uh -huh. has its resources, or at least they use the sources, uh, part of those sources in indigenous peoples. Um, but again, the idea of the state is still very strong for, for, we're not talking about ways to challenge the boundaries of states. Uh, but yeah, for example, in the case of Argentina and Chile, the Mapuche are the, are the first kind of transnational group that connects the two countries in ways that politicians were not able to, ever, until under the, the, the Pinochet and, and, and the drunk junta, uh, well, one of them was a drunk one, the other two, I guess, were sober. Uh, but but uh, Galtieri was, a, was, a, was an alcoholic, um, the guy that sent, that had the wonderful idea of, of declaring war to the UK under Margaret Thatcher. Hmm. Um, but under those regimes, the, the both countries were to bring the war, which was one phone called away. Um, and, and then on the other side, we have this sort of um, indigenous, the Mapuche that have been living back and forth um, until, even until the 30s or 40s, historical evidence shows that even at before the 40s, um, the, the, the boundaries of the two countries were very, let's say, soft. Like they were just crossing through the valleys, bringing animals back and forth. Families are um, binational in a way. Um, and, and, and it, it was only in, in a few decades of more nationalist policies to protect you know, national markets that they actually closed the, 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 the frontiers, the, the borders. So I think they, they have a lot to learn from, from indigenous peoples, of course. I think our best shot at inter, uh, regional integration um, would be to, to frame it not just uh, you know, as an anti-imperialist, uh, in the anti-imperialist framework, I think it's part of it. Gosh, we know we, we know the lessons, don't we? But but also with with that understanding of of, of transnational boundaries, uh, that that indigenous peoples are a great example. I guess that's it. I think we're done. Thank you. Any other questions? everyone that this talk has been presented by CERLA, Students United in Representation of Latin America, and it's an organization that started thanks to Juan Diego about two years ago, and the purpose of it is to educate the Western community about
the issues in Latin America in a political, social, and also cultural way. So if you want to know more about the organization, you can contact us, you can talk to us, the execs today, or we'll be around. whenever you want. You guys we'll be, be around. around. And thanks a lot for coming up. Definitely keep posted. There's more events coming up. Um.